Hi everybody, Tim here again. Thanks for coming back to the channel and welcome to my living room. Today I am going to be doing a little bit of guitar work. I have got Old Faithful here, my Ibanez S470DX that I purchased um, about <coughs> years ago. It is my, well, right now it's my only electric guitar. I have an electric bass and a couple of acoustics and a mandolin somewhere, but uh, this is my only electric right now. It's uh, been, been my main axe for many, many years now. Um, recently, I had a birthday and got older. And I decided to take a little bit of my, my birthday winnings from my, my birthday cards and purchase a couple of items to upgrade my axe. I first tried an EVHD Tuna, which I had been wanting for a long, long time. And they're really cool. They let you take the low E and do a drop D just with the push of a button. And it's not compatible with my guitar. Me. But I got over it, I returned it, and at the same time I had also purchased what I'm going to work on today. I bought them in tandem. See, I got this little thing called a Tremel No. Now, many of you who are guitar players may have heard of this. If you haven't, then, well, here's what I got. It fits on the back cavity of your guitar in where your uh, tremolo adjustments are done. And it allows you to do a couple of interesting things. This guitar has what is called a floating bridge, which means I can dive bomb and I can pull up on the notes. Uh, that's great unless you do something like break a string or want to change tunings or want to do a drop D. Can't do it. It takes hours to reset one of these things when they're full floating. The tremolo no, gives me some options. I can leave it full floating if I want, or I can lock it into a dive bomb only position, or I can lock it completely like a hard tail. So that appeals to me greatly. I was hoping to be able to use this and the D-Tuna in tandem. D-Tuna didn't work. Let's get on with this thing and see if I can at least get some tuning stability and be able to do some alternate tunings once in a while without having to spend half a day resetting the bridge. All right, so here is the inside of the back of the guitar. Here's your springs, there's the tremolo bridge itself, and here's the claw. Now to put the tremolo no in, I'm going to have to replace the claw with the one that comes with the unit, and I'm gonna to have to remove my springs, put on a clamp, and then re reattach everything. Now they recommend in the instructions for the D-Tuna to take this Handy little piece of masking tape here. Found some masking tape in my wife's craft supplies. I believe she was trying to mask a lizard because this has this kind of strange little pattern on it. All right, and they tell you, mark your masking tape right over where the front edge of the claw sits. Now, from this angle, you're probably not gonna see that. Let me show you an overhead view of this, so you can see a little more the angle I'm seeing there. Now that is right over the claw of the tremolo. And they recommend then taking a pair of scissors, and that way you've got something to line up against when you put your new claw in. Next they tell you to block the tremolo itself, which I'm gonna do with this little bit of wadded up stuff here. This is actually the envelope that it was shipped to me from Amazon in. All right, next we're gonna to have to take out the springs. I'm gonna hold on to the springs here so that I don't smack myself in the face. And we're just gonna pull that one out, pull that one out. And then lastly with the third one, Next, I gotta cut my ground wire off of the claw here. So, there, that's off, and I'll just let that sit out of the way. Next, we gotta get the screws out. 
set the screws out of the way, set the old claw out of the way. And next, I'm going to break into the Tremel No. I'm going to loosen all these little thumb screws up and slide my other pieces out of the way here. <clears throat> and that leaves me with the new claw, which is going to just sit right in here where the old claw sat. Then I've got to get the screws restarted in the original holes. I'm just going to try and do that by hand here first. And slide this up so I got a little room to work. There's the other hole. Okay, now that is going in. I'm going to try and hold this thing right where I need it to be. I'm going to put my finger behind it and push forward as I screw in. And I'm just going to stop right on the edge of my masking tape. Okay, now, next step is to put the springs back on. Obviously, it's going to have to change in order for me to get the Tremel No in. So, now I've got that in place and I'm going to get this. This is going to take a little bit of stretching and get it right into that first hole. There. Just going to have to try and get it in there. All right, all three of those parts are in. Next, I need to strip off a little bit of the casing on my ground wire. Then we're going to have to come underneath of this spring here, this first one. Back up to the ground screw here in the middle of the unit. Just going to screw this a little bit. I know that's a Allen wrench. Hold on. Here is the Allen wrench for the Tremble now. All right, well, this is getting really frustrating very quickly. I'm not able to get the ground wire post to come loose. After far too much effort, I found out that the screw for the ground wire is actually a star bit, and it does not appear to be included with your set. Um, but I did find one in my garage finally, so please note that. But there, I can finally back this sucker out. After got my packing out of the way. All right, now the next step is to put on this little clamp here. Pull this guy up out of the way. Slide that on. Okay. And then this guy's got to go on next. Right, and then this clamp goes down over your bridge. Now we need the Allen wrench to tighten this clamp that goes over your bridge. Now I will mention while I'm doing this, before I started on this installation, I did take everything out of the package once just to do a test fit of the clamp on the back of the bridge because there are two different styles that you can order. One is a large clamp and one is a small clamp and uh, they, they are separate packages. So I wanted to make sure before I started on the video that I had at least ordered the right part. And I did. 
This is not getting in there at all, is it? There. All right, I think that has got it. I'm going to back off the other. All right, so there is apparently all that there is to it. Next, I need to check my tuning, see if everything stayed all right. Come on, baby. Now, things were not perfectly in tune when I started, um, but it does feel like it has held the tuning that I had originally before I started the installation. So that is a good thing. Bad thing I'm going to note is that um, one of the install videos that I found elsewhere on YouTube said that there should be two of these Allen wrenches that come with the Tremel now because there are two different sized screws. Mine only came with this one. So somebody in their packing division needs to pay a little closer attention because you only gave me one when I'm supposed to have two and that made this take a lot longer than I think it needed to. That being said, <clears throat> let me grab my tremolo arm out of my case and we will see if things are working properly. Okay, so my first attempt at uh, strumming a few chords and seeing if the tremolo arm worked still was kind of a failure. Things went very wonky out of tune, like in a bad, bad way. So, one thing I had to do was I had to adjust on the arm here. I had to unlock this screw and slide this saddle back. It was kind of pushed over and causing some buzzing against that, that spring in the middle, which uh, was making a really nasty sound. Then, uh, once I got that figured out, I noticed and this is going to be kind of hard to show you. Hopefully the Suku can give me a, a good angle on it here. But if you get right down here, actually, yeah, let's see and look at that. The bridge here looks pretty good on this side. It looks pretty flat. But over on the other side, if you'll notice... Oops, right there. It's kind of right here on the back. It's just looking like it's dropped down just a hair. And I had that dead flat. So that means that the springs on the back side here are pulling down a little bit too much. So what I think I need to do is get in the back of the guitar here. What I'm gonna need to do is take this bolt and loosen it just a little bit and then I need to let this screw out some so that the bridge can pull forward just a hair. And I think that's going to be some very, very minute changes. So let's get that loosened up first. Now I'm going to take my screwdriver and I'm just barely going to back it off, just like maybe a quarter of a turn. So I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to go zoop, right there. All right, let's check that. Might need to go ahead and unlock the nut and just do a full tuning. Three weeks later. All right, so normally you can dive down and pull up a little bit. That's part of my problem. Something is grabbing back here, and it is not letting the arm go back into position the way it ought to. 
Okay, I can definitely feel when I'm moving the tremolo that it is binding on something. It's grabbing somehow. And it's definitely the tremolo no arm itself. It is this, this bar here that uh, attaches to the claw. That is, I can feel it kind of grinding when, I, when it moves. So, what do I do about that? I don't think there's anything repositioning it here is going to do. Maybe if it's not hitting perfectly straight, that would be why it's moving around. So you see, the <coughs> tremolo no should not be having any effect at all on the motion of the tremolo arm. Shouldn't be moving at all. Or I shouldn't be feeling it when I move it. But it seems like whenever I am grabbing the bar here, yeah, I can feel it's almost like it's sandy. It's kind of just gritty and grabbing. And then sometimes, see when I let go, it should come back to tuned. And really what I'm gonna do, if I give it a little tug up, it comes to the right spot. But something's blocking it from going all the way to that spot. And that's what I gotta figure out. 3,000 years later. All right, well, I have run out of time for today, so I'm going to cut the video off here. Um, hopefully I can get to work on this later and see if I can figure out what's going on with this thing. Later that same evening. All right, so I am back for part two of this install. Uh, I did a little bit of Googling and I talked to a friend of mine who has installed a couple of these on his own instruments seems that there is a known setup issue with these things. It's not an issue like it's a, a manufacturing flaw or something. It's just something you've got to do when you're installing these. And that is make absolutely sure that the um, shaft and attachments here are at a perfect right angle to the claw. And if I'm looking real close at it, mine is not so good. Now when I flip the guitar over, this side of the tremolo looks perfectly flat, so I think I got my distance good here. But if you look real closely, this one is sitting just a hair farther forward, and this side is actually sitting a hair up off of the body of the guitar. So I think what i got to do is get this screw loosened and give that just a little bit of a twist in, and then we'll see where that gets us. And we're gonna just take this thing, and they said to go just like maybe a quarter turn at a time. Let me get my screwdriver in the head here. All right, so we're gonna take that in, just a quarter of a turn. It feels smoother to push on it now with that little bit of a turn, but it's still not quite coming all the way back up. One eternity later. That, I think, is almost perfect. I think I might have it. I think all the adjustments that have kind of sent the rest of my tuning a little bit out of whack. I might have to stop for a few minutes and redo that. And I think we might finally have this puppy licked. Six and a half hours later.
think I got it. Finally. The deities of guitar have smiled upon me. And it appears to be coming back up in tune. At long last. Okay, so now the next thing to do is actually try this puppy out. We are in a full unlocked position. We need to now go into, let's see here, I'm going to tighten the C clamp down here and go into what they call dive only mode. That means that I can only cannot pull up. Nice. And then if I tighten the other two clamps down, I should be in a fully locked mode. Before I get too far ahead of myself, I better put these clamps, clamp screws on top of my claw nuts, my claw screws, back down good and tight. So that doesn't shift around on me. All right, and then I should be in. I'm still in dive only mode, apparently. I get tightened down on there. And. I am fully locked. All right, this has been a long time to get installed, far too long in my opinion. Um, if you guys want one of these, I've been told they're great. I'm really gonna have, I think, some fun trying it out and, and uh, seeing what I can do with this guy. Uh, but definitely set aside a few hours. I ended up spending an hour and a half earlier today and then I had to stop for a while because real life intervened. I didn't get back to it for a few hours, and I just spent this long again, probably another hour, just getting this thing set up. Um, uh, so I would definitely treat it like I'm going to completely reset the floating bridge on my guitar, <coughs> set aside that amount of time. Uh, disappointing things I'm going to have to list are the simple fact that Tremel No did not give me all the tools that I was going to need. I was very uh, upset to find out that I should have had two Allen wrenches and I only got one, which I can't even find right now. So, definitely make sure you've got an extra set of Allen wrenches on hand in order to do this work, especially if you're missing the one that you need. Um, other than that, everything went about as I expected it to do. The actual replacement of the claw and replacing the springs and putting on the shaft and the, uh, the attachments for that, clamping it on, that all took about as long as I expected. What I really was not expecting was having to do almost a complete bridge reset. Um, maybe that's par for the course, I don't know. You guys can tell me if you've used one, uh, what your experience was like. Leave me a comment below. Like and subscribe the video, especially if you're feeling the level of frustration that I had with trying to get this thing set up. And please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time.